What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So Apple patched a very important iOS vulnerability in iOS 18.4.1. In fact, two of them are patched in here if you check out the security content for iOS 18.4.1. However, one of them is actually quite critical. The one in our pack over here says impact an attacker with arbitrary read and write capability may be able to bypass pointer authentication. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been exploited in an extremely sophisticated attack against specific targeted individuals on iOS. The issue was addressed by removing vulnerable code. So for those of you running on iOS 18.4, 18.3, anything older than this, essentially your device is vulnerable to a very sophisticated attack that could potentially exfiltrate data out of your device. Now, what actually drew me to this change log over here is that the vulnerability itself may be able to bypass pointer authentication. Now, pointer authentication is something that most necessarily has to be bypassed if you want to create a jailbreak. And for the people who are in the iOS jailbreak community, this is actually quite important. You cannot build a jailbreak for the newer modern devices like the iPhone 16, 15 and so on without bypassing the pointer authentication code. And in fact, there hasn't been a jailbreak available in a long time, especially for iOS 17 and 18. And the pointer authentication codes is a security feature that is responsible for at least a part of this lack of jailbreaking. This definitely looked like a very powerful vulnerability that could potentially be useful for jailbreak purposes as well if released. Now there is another one in core audio as well, which is intriguing to say the least. It says impact processing an audio stream in a maliciously crafted media file may result in code execution. Apple is aware of a report that the issue may have been exploited in an extremely sophisticated attack against specific targeted individuals on iOS. A memory corruption issue was addressed with improved bounds checking. And this one is credited to Apple and the Google Threat Analysis Group. So it looks like these two vulnerabilities over here were actually in pair. They were actually used in the same exploit chain in order to exfiltrate files very likely. So this is most likely used in spyware against some people. However, the great thing is that for the jailbreak community, this is great news. This could mean that these vulnerabilities are strong enough for jailbreak purposes, especially this one with the pointer authentication. I don't know. If this gets released, it could be very interesting. However, at the same time, it means that for those of you who are running a lower version, your device is suddenly vulnerable. You may not be one of those uh, targeted individuals at the moment. However, you never know who finds this vulnerability abilities and pairs them up in order to create a similar spyware and to target more people than those individuals that were initially targeted by God knows who. So it's a great idea if you're not interested in jailbreaking, go ahead right away, update iOS 18.4.1. The iOS 18.4.1 does patch those vulnerabilities, so it's great to see that those have been patched. Speaking of vulnerabilities though, if you want to learn how to build your own iOS exploits and find your own iOS vulnerability, whether for jailbreak purposes or if you want to do security research and find this kind of vulnerabilities on iOS, the 8K Sec Academy has a great course called Offensive iOS Internals. You can check it out down below. There will be a link. And this one goes in depth on the iOS architecture, its security features, and so on. So definitely check it out below. You can also find the latest jailbreaks for iOS here on iDeviceCentral.com. Link will be below on the jailbreak tools page. And you can see which tools are available for what iOS versions. But yeah, pretty nasty set of vulnerabilities patched in 18.4.1. Don't know what will come from that for the jailbreak community. However, these do look very powerful, more powerful than other vulnerabilities I have seen so far. So yeah, thank you for watching. I am GS Snow. Peace out.